Well, this is one thing that we have a lot of on the property is um, a bunch of these rocks. You keep finding them piled up around trees and stuff all over the place. So I'm assuming at some point somebody pulled them out of the out of the ground on the property here, uh, or brought them in. I don't know, but it looks real similar to the rocks that uh, are all around here. So I'm assuming they're uh, from the property. Um, anyhow, we're gonna use a bunch of these and we're gonna try something I've never done before. We're gonna try and build. Um, little stone uh, uh, entryway there in front of the in front of the door there so we'll see how it goes have is an approximate four and a half by four and a half foot square. We'll have larger boulders in the corner, posts coming off of, up off of those. Um, and then we're going to come this way with the door a little bit and widen that. So that's the rough plan. Let's start throwing some, uh, some rocks in here and see if we can get some stuff leveled up. One thing I want to make sure is that I have slope away, so I'm going to use this kind of as the rough guide, <coughs> but I want to make sure we're sloping away, which we are, which is good. Oh yeah, and we want to roughly square it to the building too. Square. Ish. I mean, it's hard to tell off the opposite of that. Pretty close. One of the things that I got to do <coughs> is clean these rocks off, make sure there's no, you know, bits of moss and dirt and stuff that's in there. Because um, we're going to be trying to mortar them together. And we don't want anything that's just going to crumble, um, obviously, under stress. So, got to make sure they're all cleaned off. I've got a little stiff bristle brush here and garden hose. So, I'll start working on all this stuff, see if I can get it cleaned up. All right, I've got my two corner posts, uh, two corner rocks picked out. Um, so I'm just gonna start kind of figuring out how everything lays and sits in here and work my way up towards the, uh, the door there. That has a ton of work, hard on an old back. Um, but I think I got it down, so I'll show you guys what I got. Crazy looking little entry right here. So I'm gonna pour a little sand down in there just to throw up some of the big crevices. And then I'll pour some uh, mortar on top of that. I wonder if I should have swept this instead. Oh well. gonna go ahead and mortar that tonight but after seeing that sand disappear down in there <laughs> I might need a few more bags of mortar so um, I'll probably pick some of that up after work tomorrow and uh, do this tomorrow night so stay tuned all right we're just gonna
going to use a type S mortar from uh, Lowe's, Home Depot, whatever, Sack Creek. Sack Creek. And I'm just going to kind of do the same thing we did with the sand, just kind of pour it in all the cracks and water it in. too much but I really have no idea how much I'm gonna need because I've never done this before so kind of a experiment I'm assuming some of this I think some of this will sink down I just don't know how much Water it down and see what happens. Either it's gonna be awesome or a colossal fail, what do you think? slopes the right way, which is good. That's what we were after. Okay, we've got a few holes developing here and there. I was expecting. Just gonna kind of work in it down yeah. and then I'll come back and fill some of these holes. I saved a little bit extra for coming back and filling. Cool. 